Hey everybody, welcome Hello. back. This is a great time to be here. We are in we are in Balboa right yes. now, California, right next to Newport it's Beach. It's been so wonderful. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. Refreshing you might hear, time. Might hear a little bit of a breeze right now. It's yeah. kind of windy out, so hopefully the sound comes the out. Sun it's is gorgeous. Heading. Yeah. We went to Ruby's. Yeah. It was just it was such a wonderful day. Lots of wonderful time together. Yeah, it was really yeah. good and we have jumping fish, and so you might see some fish jump out. It's they get they get like, pretty high. I just saw one over there. It was yeah. really cool. They get pretty high. So, anyways, yeah. welcome back. We are studying a spirit-filled life, yeah. and it's so relaxing to know that once we're filled with the Holy Spirit, there are different, distinct things that happen to us. It's pretty miraculous. We've been baptized the Holy Spirit. A transformation takes place inside of us. Yeah. Paul said there are four distinct results we can expect. He said we're all changed by the Holy Spirit. We've had a good time talking about this. We're going to dive into another one right now. Because as we encounter the Holy Spirit, there are outward signs that we are Spirit-filled. Yeah. And there are many startling transformations that happen to us because it's the Holy Spirit on yes, the inside. It's great. Right. Sudden manifestations and you feel like, you know what, I, I'm a different person. Yes. I can I can like look at scripture different. I, can, I just do things differently Having right now. Having that spirit filled life is yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and it's, it's a natural thing we need in our everyday lives. Yes. And Paul really brought the importance of this subject in the Corinthian church. And, and throughout the Gospels, actually, not the Gospels, the Epistles, I should say, the Gospels are the four accounts yeah. of Jesus, but the Epistles. And he wanted great value on this subject. And you look at this subject, you know, they were born again, they're filled with the Holy Ghost, but there's a refilling yeah. that takes place in our lives daily. Yeah. And let's go over to our, our theme scripture on this. And sorry about the wind again. Ephesians 5, 18 says this through 21. Do not be drunk with wine, which is dispensation, but be filled with the Spirit. Of course, I love the Amplified. It says, ever be filled and stimulated daily with the Holy Spirit. And then from there, verse 19, he gives us four distinct different things that happen to us. And it's pretty incredible. The first week we talked about being filled. And if you haven't listened to that one, it's so Go good. back and see that yes. one. The second week we talked about his first one. Speaking, and this is the verse, verse 19. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms. So the first manifestation we talked about, you can expect a spirit-filled life is your speech and your speaking is different. We said, he's saying our life is now changed and our speech is changed yeah. when we're filled with the Holy Spirit. Spirit-led Christians, spirit-led believers have a new vocabulary. That's right. It is not self-centered. We talked about that. Go back and listen to it. It is God-centered. Yes. Pleasing the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Bring it on. Yeah. Then we it's look, like everything, you're, yeah. you're just focused on God. Yes. And everything that you think about or do, it's centered around God. That's yeah. having a spirit-filled life. Yes. Centering everything around God. Yes. Yes. We got some. We got some people having fun out here. We got kids. We got all kinds of boats. We got all kinds of fun things out here, and we hope you're enjoying that as well. Then we talked about last week the second sign Paul talks about. You should expect to have a new song. This was an amazing yes, just time. Yes, even sang yeah. you. <laughs> so he says in verse 19, yes. he says, you'll be singing and making melody in your heart to the yes. Lord. A happy song towards God comes up. It just bubbles out of your heart. And it's like, well, I've got a song. I've got a pep to my step. And we talked about that last week. And we also taught you and also showed you how to sing in the spirit it was just yes, really it was really fun. really exciting it's so much fun yeah it to is to follow god god makes it fun yeah yeah it's not it's liberating yeah. it's life-changing and it's freedom yeah so many people think oh i'm not ready to come to god because i i can't have the freedom that i want to have yeah that's not true yeah when you know who god is 
there's freedom there. Yeah. There's so That's much good. fun. God is fun. That's good. That's awesome. And you know, so here we go. We're going to number three. And then we go down to verse 20. And it says this, the third manifestation. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This yes. is number three. The third manifestation is you'll just start giving thanks. Suddenly, you're going to be thanking God for everything. You'll thank Him for the good, maybe the not so good, but your heart knows that yes. He's the giver of every good gift, and you're a believer. So, Deuteronomy chapter 28, no matter where you, I go out in the fields, I come into the city, I go here, I go in, I go out. I'm blessed, and I'm blessed. so thankful. And that Deuteronomy chapter 28, you look yes. at the first part of it, talk about a thankful heart. Yes. It's a thankful heart. The result of a transformation of your attitude so no matter what happens, you know God has a way out, and a yes. thank you bubbles up in your spirit. Amen. Well, I have a question okay. for you, sure. and for you. When you pray, do you believe God will answer your prayer? That might be a simple, you're like, uh, what do you mean by that? Listen, so many people pray, and they're pleading with God, oh, Father, please. Please do this, please do that. And they're pleading with him instead of knowing where you're at, this what the scripture says. If you know your scriptures and you know what is God yeah. and what he wants for your life, yes, that's right. You wouldn't plead. You wouldn't plead for your healing. You wouldn't yeah. plead for finances. You would know what the scriptures say, yeah. and then you turn it around and you're thanking him mm. instead. For the results, that's right. People are hoping God will answer them, but that's not mm. thats not the right place to be, and you need to know what the scriptures say, yeah. and pray scripturally as much as you can. Yeah. So then what you're doing is then you know that you have the answer, and you're thanking mm. God. Yeah. And yeah. if you know that... God answers prayer, yeah. you won't be in a place of, Father, please, please answer yeah. my prayer. Yeah. No, yeah. instead, you're you're praying what you know is scriptural, and then you're thanking God for the answer. That's right. We know that Jesus paid the price for our healing. By Jesus' stripes, 1 Peter 2.24 says, by Jesus' stripes, you were. Work. Heal. Yeah. So instead of being like, oh, Father, please heal me. Why aren't you healing me? That's not in a place of believing Him. That's not in a place of faith. Yeah. You need to know what the scriptures say. Get in there. Find out what the scriptures say. And you pray it in faith. Father, by Jesus' stripes, he, Jesus paid the penalty. Yeah. I am healed. Yeah. Father, I thank you for your healing power working mightily in my body. Yeah. So then you're thanking him for it because it's thank already you, a done deal. Yeah. Right? And then if you need finances, instead of, Father, oh, please, please help us. Please, we need finances. We're going under. That's not faith. You need to know what the scriptures say. Philippians 4.16, I believe that's the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Philippians 4.19. Yeah. For God supplies yeah. all of my need according to yeah. His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So I thank you, Father. And then you're in a place of thanking Him. Yeah. Father, I thank you for your word says that you supply. And so you're in a place where you're thanking Him for yeah. it instead. Yeah. Yeah. When we pray according to the scripture, it's a spiritual law. Yeah. It's a done deal. Yeah. You should have the attitude of thanksgiving. I love that. So I want to share a couple of scriptures. First, Thessalonians 5, 16 says, they're having fun. <laughs> Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, yeah. for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, Tell, test all things, hold fast what is good, abstain from the form of evil. So, Basically, you're rejoicing. Yeah. You're already yeah. re rejoicing yeah. for the answer. Yeah. Philippians 4, 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice. Again, I say, rejoice. rejoice. 
Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Yes. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding mm. will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. So in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving because you know that he's yes. going to answer your prayers yes. and then after you're thankful and you're thanking him the peace of god that's so good that passes yeah. all understanding keeps your heart and mind stayed on him that's right. when you know you have the answer whenever max was going to christian school we had a mom's prayer group once a week that we came together and we prayed for the school and we prayed for our kids and so I would get in there and you know whenever it was my turn to pray I would just start praying some scriptures and then I would just be thanking God yeah. and because I knew I had the answer yes. and some of the moms were like wow it's really interesting you know I mean you you, it's as if you've already got the answer. That's really cool. And I'm yeah. like, yes, I believe that when I pray, yeah. it is a done deal. And I believe and I thank him for it. Yeah. And what happens when you when you receive something from someone, you say thank you. Amen. And that's what God has already done for us. He has already given us yes. goodness. We can go angels and Jesus and salvation and healing and prosperity and so uh, sound mind and a family restored and a marriage restored. Yeah. And sorry about the wind. It's getting pretty windy here. But listen, so nice. Chronicles talks a lot about Thanksgiving. So many scriptures about Thanksgiving. We don't have time to go through all of them. First Chronicles 1634. Give thanks to God. He is good and his love never quits. So you're yes. thanking him. Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy and loving kindness dure forever. There's something to be thankful right there. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord because He is good. God's faithful love lasts forever. In the King James, we know this over and over. He said, for His mercy endures forever. forever. And that's something to give thankful. The word thanksgiving and thanks and thankfulness in the Hebrew is quite interesting. It's a verb. It's an action. It's an action. Verb. And yada, yada is the Hebrew word verb for thanks. It means to give out, to shoot out, to give something back that someone has already given to you. It is an amazing word about shooting up, thanks, giving to God. I love the root of yada is the word God. And this has powerful implications. It means this and implies this, that it, it, it it's, it's, God, there's so much here, but listen, implying the hand of God is on you, that is why you're giving thanks. Yes. So the hand of God is on you, so that is why you're giving thanks. Hallelujah. The hand of God is on you, that is why you're giving thanks. A spirit-filled life. That is what we're talking about. I'm telling you what, when you know the hand of God Glory. is on you, and the hand of God is on you. Yeah. I said the hand of God is on you. Amen. Jesus showed us that giving thanks, like you said, it's an act of faith. Yes. Giving thanks is an act of faith. Yes. Jesus said this, knowing that God will provide his promise and it will come to pass. The loaves and fishes. We don't have time to go through the whole scripture, but the loaves and fishes, the miraculous signs of the multiplying of it. In, in John chapter 6, verse 11 says this, Jesus then took the barley loaves and the fish and gave thanks. Because he knew something miraculous was going to happen. He gave thanks first. Big old helicopter going over. I'll say it again. Jesus then took the barley loaves and the fish and gave thanks to God. There's what happens next after you give thanks. Then he gave it to the disciples to distribute to the people, as you could say in faith. Miraculously, the food multiplied, everyone eating as much as they wanted. Hello. Listen, Jesus is our example. Yes, and he is. He knew already by faith yes. that the food was going to multiply, and he yes. was already giving thanks yeah. before it happened. Yeah. That's what we must do. Yes. We have to give thanks before we get the answer. Yes. Before we actually see it materialize. That's yes. what faith is. Yes. It's things that are hoped for, things that are not seen. 
Yes. And then we thank him, and it's a done deal, and an he's going to answer deal. it. Yeah, it's Hallelujah. it's incredible. And you know, Thanksgiving is such a huge part yes. of a believer's it's life. It's true. Even in heaven, listen to this in Revelation chapter 19. Giving thanks in heaven. We don't stop here. <laughs> That's right. And for the sake of time, verse, so let's, let's go down here. After this, I heard what sounded like voices of many people in heaven saying, Thanks to our God, the one who saves honor and power belong to him. Verse 3. Thanks to our God. Fast forwarding. Verse 4. Let it be so. Thanks to our God. Verse 5. Our voice came from heaven saying, Give thanks to our God. Give thanks to our God. You who honor him with love and fear, both small and great. Come on. Hallelujah. That's God so good. Is so good. Yes, 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 yes. He's so good. All you want to do whenever yeah, you yeah. know who he is, mm. you just want to thank him. Yes. Because you know he's going to get you through any yes, hard yes, time. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. It's so amazing, you know, and again, we're going to wrap it up here. Paul says the third outward sign of a spirit-filled life is just this. You'll start giving thanks. Well, let's review verse 20. He said in Ephesians 5.20, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do that with an abundant heart. Yes. Full. Filled. Living that spirit filled life. Yeah. So anyways, let's be joyful. Let's be yes. happy. Let's smile. Let's give thanks. And let's show the world what thanksgiving yes. really looks like as a believer and give yes. God all the glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, Hallelujah. let's pray. Let's pray. Yeah, let's go ahead. pray for you, Father. Yeah. Thank you so much for all those out there, Father God, that they're learning to have a spirit-filled life or if they already do have a yeah. spirit-filled life, yeah. it's just encouraging them mm. and topping them yes. up, Father God. So I just thank you for each and every one of them out there, Father God, yes. that they're learning to follow you. Mm -hmm. They're learning to believe you. Yes. They're learning yes. that yes. no matter what happens, you are there yes. with them yes. and you're going to answer them. Yes. You're going to answer them, Father God. Yes. And so we just give you thanksgiving today yes. Yes. because yes. we know that you are helping each and every one of them. Out thank there. you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. you, Lord. We re just like you said, we in rejoice. We rejoice, yes. and we give thanks to Him. Yes. Come in on, Jesus name. Hallelujah. Well, hey. Thank you for joining us today. Unless you have something else. You have something else to say? No. no. Thank you so much for joining us yes. today, guys. We love you so much. Our Patreon Adventure Crew. Thank you. Yes, Together, thank you. we are touching people's lives. Together, as yes. you give that $2 We're per video, so whatever it is that you're yeah. giving, we are working this together thank for God's you. glory. And we're so yes. excited. And, and those of you that yeah. maybe haven't gone on to Patreon, don't have a clue what yeah. it is, yeah. get on there. Yeah. Look down below and yeah. you'll be able to see how yeah. to get on there. Check it out. Yeah. It is the coolest Avenue, yeah. so that you can see the behind the scenes, yeah. whatever's yeah. going yeah. on. Yeah, you'll get it stuff ahead of time. you up to date, and yeah. it's fun. And there's stuff that you'll you'll see on there. There's things coming that only you're going to know yeah. if you're on Patreon. Some of the things we have in the Special future coming. So, yeah, it's great. So, yeah. anyways, we encourage you. Thank you so much for joining us. Next week, next week is going to be the top of the top. It's going to yeah. be an amazing, amazing time with us. So, for the kingdom, guys, let's end this for the kingdom on the count of three. One, two, three, for, for the, the kingdom. kingdom. God bless you, and we'll see you again soon, Be and enjoy blessed. this sunset.